Let's do some examples of net octal equation. I picked four examples here for us, and you're going to see that uh, I picked a couple that have some oddities in them, so you can learn some of the oddities and strange things about writing net ionical equations. Let's start with the top one. The top one's pretty straightforward. Remember, what we're going to do is go through the three steps. Uh, we're going to write out the equation and balance it. Then we're going to uh, figure out the states. And then we're going to move on to finding out the, what the net ionical equation is. This is a double replacement. We've got two ionic compounds here. Uh, and this uh, acid, uh, I know it's an aqueous acid. Uh, I have to tell you in this case that it's a strong acid, so it will ionize. But it does a double replacement. H2O, aka HOH, from here. And then NaCl from the other side. So HOH, which is water, and NaCl. Okay, so I have my equation. Looks like it's balanced already. Now what do I want to do? I want to go to my next step, which is write down the states. So if you have your solubility rules, you want to grab that out. Um, and uh, let's start on the right-hand side first. Water, that's one of the ones just under general information that you should know, is a liquid. Sodium chloride uh, is also a liquid for two reasons. Things with halides, which is chlorine would be a halogen, or, and sodium, uh, those are always going to be aqueous. So group 1 metals like sodium, potassium, those are going to have it be aqueous compounds. And most things with a halogen are going to be aqueous compounds. For two reasons, this is aqueous. Okay, let's take a look at the other two. The sodium hydroxide, for pretty much the same reason, uh, it has a sodium in it. So it's going to be aqueous. The HCl has a chlorine in it, which is a halogen. And halogen, things with halogens are usually aqueous. There's another way you could have known that HCl is aqueous. It's an aqueous acid. <laughs> So if it's aqueous acid, it should be aqueous. Now that we've got all the states, we're going to split up things that we know are strong electrolytes. Water's not, liquids are not. But ionic salts are. So you can get a different color pen if you want. Let's try this. We've got Na plus and Cl minus. So just kind of write it out what it would be. And then for the other case, uh, on the left-hand side, um, we've definitely got an eye on it here, and you don't know this yet, but I'll tell you it's a strong base. And we happen, HCl happens to be a strong acid. You wondered how did you know? You might know that strong acids and strong base, bases are good electrolytes, but you might not know what is a strong acid, what is a strong base. I'm going to teach you that in just a little bit. So don't worry about that, I'll just tell you now, HCl is a strong acid. NaOH is strong base, so you can split them up. They're very strong electrolytes. Now what you do is cancel what you see on both sides that are ions. So you see a sodium on both sides and a Cl on both sides that are sodium before and sodium after. And Cl minus before, Cl minus after. It does not react. Nothing changes. The other stuff does react. So let's write out what's left over. What's left over is H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous goes to H2O, liquid. And there's my net ionic equation for the first reaction. Uh, so you'll notice that H plus and OH retain their state from their original compounds, HCl and NaOH, where aqueous before, they're still aqueous. Another hint you can know, when you see something with a charge, it will be aqueous. H plus, definitely aqueous. OH minus, it's got that minus, it's definitely aqueous. So, those are the things that actually do the reaction in the first case. Let's take a look at the second case. Step one, write the reaction. This is a double replacement. So, 
We're going to write it out as AG going with the CL and NO3 going with the aluminum. So we've got silver 1 chloride plus aluminum nitrate. Now you might wonder, why is there three nitrates on the aluminum? That's because the nitrate has a minus one charge and aluminum is plus three. So you need three nitrates to balance out the plus three from the aluminum. Now that I have my reaction, I want to find out the states using general information and the solubility rules. All these we're going to get from solubility rules because uh, there's no kind of unique compounds up there. So, see both compounds with the nitrates. We know from solubility rules that all nitrates are soluble. Remember, soluble means the same as aqueous. So if it's soluble, it's aqueous. Um, and then see that aluminum chloride there. That chloride is a halide or a halogen, so that's aqueous. So let me write all three of those in. AQ, AQ. AQ. Again, they're aqueous because from the solubility rules, uh, in both in the first and the last one, the nitrates, those are aqueous, and aluminum chloride, chloride is aqueous. Now let's take a look at that silver one chloride. When the solubility rules, halides are soluble, aka aqueous, and uh, you can uh, I mean, I guess I should say, but there's an exception to this rule. If you have a halogen with lead, mercury 1, or silver, it's going to be insoluble, which means it's a solid. Oops, that says solid. I'll write it bigger. There, that one's a solid. Okay, so I've got all my states. Now I'm going to break all, I'm going to go to my third step which is take a look at the electrolytes. I'm going to split up all the electrolytes. So, or the, pretty much anything that's aqueous is an electrolyte, So and it's strong. So all those three aqueous, I'm going to split up to ions. Oh wait, I didn't balance. Let's balance this thing. I think there's three, and uh, I think that does it. Yeah. Oh, and a three here. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, now I'm going to break up all my aqueous, which are strong electrolytes. Aqueous things are strong electrolytes. So I've got three silver pluses. I've got three nitrates. I've got three aluminum, three plus. I've got three chlorine, three minus. Oh, not three aluminums. One aluminum, three chlorines. I've got aluminum. 3 plus here, and 3 nitrate minus is there. So notice everything that was aqueous, I split up into ions. I don't do that for the solids, because solids, liquids, and gases, anything that's not aqueous, <laughs> does not, is not a good electrolyte, it doesn't split up in solution. I want to cancel what's the same on both sides. That would be the aluminum, and the uh, nitrate, three of them. Okay. Now I want to write my net on, on an equation with what's left over. Everything I crossed out is spectator ion. So I have 3Ag plus aqueous plus 3Cl minus aqueous goes to 3Ag Cl solid. That's my net on equation. Uh, I can actually simplify it one more step because there's threes in there. I can reduce to the lowest common factor of one. Factoring out the three, you have an Ag plus plus a Cl minus goes to AgCl. That's my net equation. That's what's actually reacting.